Hey there YouTube, this is just a really, 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 really quick video here that I'm going to show you guys. Alright, it's for using spring nuts on um, Unistrut. Alright, I've got different sizes here. I've got a quarter inch spring nut and I've got a, a three eighths spring nut. Alright, they're all different sizes. They go all the way up to half inch. Some of them are even a little bit bigger. But I'm going to show you these ring nuts. Mind if you don't mind the chickens barking. All right, if you look at them here, there's little serrations in there. They're like little teeth. All right, those face up, facing towards you when you bolt your bolt in like this. All right, I've got a buddy out there in Oklahoma. I've noticed that his were installed in the Unistrut this direction. When you take your bolt and you tighten it up, and you're tightening it up, it's going to make that spring nut turn. And if you notice, there's a little on both of them it's kind of rounded off on each end well you don't want them upside down because if you tighten it down those are going to spin out and it could pop you you know come out of there and that you know if it's upside down like that it slides back and forth real easy whereas the spring nut side you put it in sideways like so and then you turn it fingers in there all right. If you think, look at it, I'm turning it the way you would tighten the bolt down. Because see, when the bolt's in there, you know, you tighten it down this direction. Well, the spring nut locks in there the same way. All right. And you can still slide it back and forth before it's tightened down. But whatever you got on there that tightens down, those teeth bite into. Let me slide this over here so you can see that. The spring is going to kick through there. But those teeth bite into this little c-shape here on each side it bites right into it it also grounds whatever item that you've got to it that you're mounting to it it also grounds it to your unistrut um like i've got some uh clamps here there's little teeth on the top of it that bites down in there that helps ground this all into being one whole unit all right and that's how i've got mine installed in there so i hope i can help people out that are using their spring nuts all right, so that's the way you do her. All right, stick them in, you turn them where you want to put them at, and then it holds it there. And then when you put your bolt or item on, you don't have to hold on to this. It'll lock itself in place. See, I can't turn it that way, but once it pulls to, it'll lock right in there and it won't come out. All right, thank you, YouTube. Talk to you guys later.